<laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say it. You definitely cannot do this in Skate 3. I'll eat a nose slide and tail slide on that barrier. Oh, you have so much creativity in this game. It's so awesome. It's finally here. Hey, what is up guys? Zach here. Welcome back to another video. So today we are playing Session, the brand new skateboarding game that just came out on Steam Early Access a few days ago. You may remember I played this game a few years ago, but oh my gosh, it looks so much smoother now, so much more polished. Look at that. Oh my gosh, yes. So I've been playing this game a little bit in preparation for this video, and I gotta say, I am very happy with it so far. I'm having a really good time. So basically the way the game works is your right stick controls your right foot and your left stick controls your left foot. So you pop with your right foot, you flick with your left foot, assuming that you're in regular. So before we get into the challenges I want to get to today, let's just go through some of the flat ground tricks. So you've already seen the kick flip, but you can also do a nice varial flip. If you go all the way around, big scoop, you got the tray flip. Same applies with a varial heel the other way and a big laser flip. So today I just kind of want to play the game a little bit, give you guys my first impressions, show you some of the new features that they've built in, and hopefully just have some fun. So the map is based off of New York City, which is actually really cool. I think it's just like the southern part of New York City, if I remember that correctly, but there's a lot of really cool street spots. So basically in this video I want to try to do uh, one really cool trick on a handrail, I want to do one really good trick down a big stair set and show off the free flip mechanic, and then I want to do a really cool manual trick because I really like how the manuals look in this game, so hopefully we can find a spot for that but for now let's try to find a stair set also a feature i didn't even tell you about one of my favorite features boom you can get off the board zexy zex stamp of approval already i love games where you can actually get off of the board and walk around wow this is actually a really cool spot this is like a gap into like a broken rail okay let's try to hit this real quick and it looks like there's a stair set right there so we can go straight from here down to there we just gotta start here so it's actually pretty easy to pick up speed in this game if you tap a faster and faster your guy will actually push hard Oh, come on, get out of it. Nice. Okay. Oh, no. My guy went flying. They kept the ragdoll effect, which I really like. There's also a replay mode that's actually really good. I really enjoy the replay mode. So let's start with that clip. Okay, I won't spend too much time on this, but I really like replay modes in skateboarding games because, you know, you got to be able to watch your clips back. That's one of the fun parts. So right here, I did a kickflip, board slide, and like a nolly heel 270 out, and then my guy just kind of died. Okay, but let's find that stair set. I don't really remember exactly where it was. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, this is a really nice handrail. Okay, we'll hit this. I'm also going to show off the different camera angles you can use. So this right here is the default camera angle. It is like the low camera angle. And I kind of like this one a lot, actually. Not going to lie. This one is pretty nice. But there's also two other ones you can choose from. So if you go into your options and you go to your camera, you can switch it from near to mid. And that'll actually zoom you out a bit so you can see your entire skater. Which I think is pretty cool as well. I like all the camera angles, honestly. They all offer something different. Nice little heel flip board slide there. And then, of course, you probably guessed there's one more camera angle. It is the farthest one. This one's really interesting. I feel like it's hardest to do tricks at this camera angle. That might just be me, though, but I can't really do tricks that well when the camera's this far away. Let's test that theory real quick. Kickflip crook. Oh, I kind of did it on the wrong side. Maybe I could do something like a kickflip to nose blunt. How would I even do a nose blunt? I guess I would go like, nope, not like, not like that at all. So if I jump over the rail a little bit more and do that same thing, maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, we'll try that. That'll be the trick for the handrail. All right, gotta get a pretty good amount of speed to jump that far, and then like that, and then like that. Oh, what? It looks like I went to go do it, but I didn't make it over the rail. All right, I definitely have to jump like over the rail, and then, oh, there it is! You couldn't even see it for some reason, but we'll be able to see it in the replay. So let's watch this back real quick. A little bit of a slow start, but that should have been a kick flip front side nose one. Oh, yeah, beautifully done. Wow, that clip looked really good. And something I was saying earlier, look how nice the flick looks. Like, he kicks his leg all the way out there, catches it with the back foot. Ooh, that looks so nice. Okay, that was a good clip for this handrail. Oh, right here. It looks like there's a stair set. Nice. Oh, this is much bigger, too. Okay, I like this. So, basically, let me go up to the top and show you what I mean. We're going to want to get a lot of speed for this. So, basically, uh, set my marker. If you go into options and gameplay, if you turn on flip speed mode to input speed, however hard you flick the stick is how fast the board will spin. You can also do that with scoop, and you can also choose to catch it manually. I'm going to keep the catch on auto for now, but let's see if we can do like a triple kickflip. Okay, so I'm going to flick the stick literally as hard as I can. See how many flips it does. Oh my gosh, it flips so fast. I was not 
expecting that. Okay, we can definitely get a triple flip on this stair set. Ooh, oh no, that was way slower. I literally just have to flick the stick as hard as I can to try to get that flick hard enough to do a triple flip. There it is. Triple flip easy money. Let's make sure that was actually a triple flip. It definitely looks like it though. There's one flip, two flips, three flips. Oh, we might have time for a quad flip. Oh, triple. Oh! Oh! Yes! <laughs> the quad flip and session. Yes, that was so awesome. Okay, I like how fast the board flips. Like, someone would have to have crazy strength in real life to flip the board that hard. All right, let's count these flips. One, two, three, four. Oh, barely. So close. But look how cool, like, the flick looks. Like, I know I'm talking about the flick a lot, but, like, oh, yeah, that looks so sweet. I just really like how that looks. So you can also set up a free camera like this, and you can actually move the camera as the guy is going. So I could actually film this. Wow, <laughs> that was the worst filming I've ever seen. And I really like that you can move the camera as you film, like manually. Oh, it makes it a lot easier to get cool clips like that in the replay mode. All right, that was cool. I really like that stair set, but let's move on to one more spot. Oh, I like that like circular bench. But yeah, I just really like the map if you guys couldn't tell, but let's go find a spot to do like a manual trick because you can do really smooth manuals in this game. Oh, maybe we can do something cool here. I wonder if I can like slide. Oh, if I could do like a tail slide and a nose slide up this at the same time. That would be pretty incredible. We're gonna try. It's probably like the stupidest thing to try. There's like literally no way it works. Whoa! We went like sideways. I hope you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to get like a nose slide on one of them and a tail slide on the other. If that makes any sense. Not like that. I guess I gotta go a little bit closer to this one. Oh! I did it! <laughs> that was so sweet. I was not expecting to land that. All right, I'm gonna say it. You definitely cannot do this in Skate 3. I'll eat a nose slide and tail slide on that barrier. Oh, you have so much creativity in this game. It's so awesome. Also, a feature I haven't really talked about, if you just tap the triggers, you can do a revert. So then you're in switch and then your controls invert. So you kind of have to use some brain power to figure out how to do tricks. If I wanted to do like a switch manual, I would do that. Okay. And then of course you could do some fakie tricks as well, like a fakie flip. Oh, that looks really good. I could honestly just skate around this map all day. It looks so nice. Oh, big handrail here. Oh my gosh, this one is really high up. Oh, we kind of got a trick on there. Okay, we still need to find a spot to do a manual. Oh, this is really cool as well. Looks like there's like a really weird looking stair set here. Oh my gosh, there's so many spots here. This is absolutely crazy. For an early access game, this map is actually really big. Oh, whoa, look, there's actually a pretty cool spot to do a manual up here. Not right here, but that is cool. What is this thing? This is like perfect for manuals. Kickflip Manny up. Oh, we're going a little too fast. Oh, we, we did it off the end. I do like this spot though. I think it'll be very unique for a manual trick. So let's try to do like an, a kickflip up into a manual, get up to the top, 360 flip, try to land it back in a manual and then roll down in like a fakey manual or a switch nose manual. You'll see what I mean. Let's just try it. I don't know how hard that'll be because I don't have that much experience with manuals yet. Okay, that was pretty easy, not gonna lie. Kick flip out. Okay, there we go. Wait, did you guys notice that? When I tried to do a kick flip out, like I did the flick for a kick flip, but the board spun the wrong way. A little bit glitchy there, but that was also a pretty easy trick. It looks kind of cool though. That would be like a cool, a cool clip for uh, some sort of montage. Whoa, I just noticed the lights turned on. I guess we're skating at night. That's so cool. You can skate at night. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do a nolly into a nose manual, and then we'll try to do like a nolly flip out at the bottom. It's getting a little complicated for me now, not gonna lie. So we wanna go like that, and then nose manual around, and nolly flip out. Oh, very clean, very clean. All right, let's film that. I really like how you can like fly in with the camera manually because you can do like cool things like this like whoa Look at that clip. That is so cool that you can like manually control the camera 
You can also like come up from behind him like this and then like go up this with him and then pull away as he goes down it and then fly off into the distance. Well, all right, I think that just about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you let me know down in the comments so I know to make more of these videos in the future. What just happened? I'd really love to make some more videos on session. If you have any session challenges you'd like to see me try, let me know down in the comments as well because maybe I'll do a session challenges series as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.